Let's find the slope of the tangent line for the following parametric curve. Let's say we have the curve f of t, and we'll set that equal to x of t equals 6 sine of t, and then y of t equals t squared plus t. Okay, so this is our parametric curve. In order to find the slope of the tangent line to this curve, we first have to identify a point that we want to find the actual slope at. So we'll identify this point as point P, and we'll just make it nice and simple for our first example here. We'll set it at the origin, 0, 0. And that's where we want to find the slope of the tangent line. And our formula for finding this slope is just to take the first derivative, f prime of t, of the curve, and then set it equal to the first derivative y prime of t divided by the first derivative x prime of t. And this is kind of similar to your notation like y prime over x prime equals dy over dx, right? And you recognize this as the first derivative, which is also known as the slope of the tangent line, right? And so that's kind of where this idea of the slope of this parametric curve is coming from when we look at this equation here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take the derivatives of x and y of t. The derivative of y is just 2t plus 1, and the derivative of x is going to involve the trigonometric function sine. The derivative of sine is cosine, and then we just slap the 6 in front, so 6 cosine of t. And there's your y prime over x prime notation here. And so now you may be looking back at this notation and you may be thinking, why do we have y prime of t? And that's because we have to find a va value of t, um, the value of t at this point zero, zero. And in order to do that, we just need to take our x and y equations. And so let's start with just taking our um, x equation. We have six sine of t, and we have to set that equal to zero because that's our x variable. We have our x here, and that's our x variable. So this goes right here. And we have to find the value of t that satisfies this equation. So to solve this equation, we can divide both sides by six. That will cancel out the sixes on the left and just leave you zero on the right side. And so we can just rewrite this as sine of t equals zero. And so what's the value of t that satisfies this equation? Well, when t equals zero, sine of zero is zero and the equation works out. So solution to this is t equals zero for our x equation. And now let's do the same thing for our y. We'll take this equation right here, t squared plus t. And again, we have zero as our y coordinate at the origin. So plug that in there, set it equal to zero. And then now we just have to solve this out. And to solve this, we can factor out a t. We'll have t, t plus 1 equals 0. We'll have t equals 0, and t equals negative 1 here. And those will be two solutions that we have on this side. Now, we just want to choose the solution pretty much that matches um, in both the x and the y um, solutions. And that solution will be t equals 0. And so we can just ignore the negative one. Our value of t that, the value of t at the origin is gonna be t equals zero. And so we wanna take that number, we can just kinda of note it down at the top. We have t equals zero that we're gonna use. We can erase all this now, we're done with this part. And now, as our final step here, we're gonna plug t equals zero right in to that equation and then simplify and that will be our slope of the tangent line to this parametric curve at the origin. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll have f prime of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1 divided by 6 cosine of 0. The top just leaves us with 1, and on the bottom, cosine 0 is 1, so we just have 1 sixth. And that right there 
one six is our slope of the tangent line to this parametric curve at the origin. Okay, for our second example, we'll have the parametric curve f of t is equal to, we'll have x of t equals t squared plus one, and then y of t equals 2t cubed minus 3. So there's our function representing our parametric curve. And so now again, we'll define a point where we want to find um, this slope of the tangent line at on the curve. And we'll call that point, point P, and it will be at 513 this time. So now we're changing up a little bit from the origin like before. Okay, so now we'll again write out our formula. We have f prime of t, the first derivative, that represents our slope of the tangent line, equals y prime of t over x prime of t. y prime of t is the derivative of this function right here. So y prime of t is the derivative of 2t cubed minus 3. That will leave us with 6t squared, and that's it, just 6t squared on the top divided by the derivative of x prime of t, or the derivative of t squared plus 1, which will be 2t, that's it, just 2t. Our plus 1 and our minus 3, those are both constants, so those go to 0. So we can actually simplify this a little bit. Um, let's make up a little bit of room, like that. Okay, so 6 divided by 2 will simplify to 3, and then a t will cancel as well and we'll be left with 3t as our f prime of t first derivative. Okay, so we'll kind of just put a box around that. That's an important step. And now we need to find our value of t at this point 513. That satisfies both the x and the y equations. So let's do it first for the x. So we have t squared plus one, and that'll equal five, because that's this x variable here. Okay, so we subtract one from both sides and we get t squared equals four, and then take the square root and we get t equals two and t equals negative two. Because remember that when you take the square root of a number, you get plus and minus, uh, plus and minus value for the solution. So we get positive two and negative two as potential solutions. So now for y of t, we have two t cubed, minus 3 is equal to 13. Again, taking this 13 and plugging it in to our y equation as the solution. Add 3 to both sides, we get 2t cubed is equal to 16. Divide by 2, t cubed equals 8. And then take the cubed root of both sides, or we can just do take both sides to the one third power. And that leaves t equaling 2. And so now, again, look to your y side and look to your x side. What values of t do those do both sides share? For the, this case, we can ignore the t equals negative 2. There's no match on both sides there, but there is a match on the t equals 2 sides. I put a little check next to those. Both sides have t equals 2. And so that's our value of t at the point 513 that satisfies both the x and the y equations. So we can just say t equals 2 up here and jot that down. Okay, so now it's getting a little messy, so let's just erase this on the bottom. And we can go ahead and finish up this problem and get our slope of the tangent line to this curve at the point. So now we just take our 3t, which is equal to f prime of t, and then plug in the 2. Very simple here, not that much work to do, or any simplification really. So we have f prime of 2 now, because we found that value of t. We do 3 times 2. And that leaves us with the slope of the tangent line, f prime of 2, is equal to 6. And that is our solution for the slope of the tangent line for this parametric curve at the point 513. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.